Hi everybody and welcome to the channel! In a previous video, we talked about the basics of the Simple Storage Service, or S3, for object storage, storing things like images, documents, videos, log files, that kind of thing. Link above and below if you're interested. But did you know you can also use S3 to host a simple website, and most likely for free? Yes, it's true. If you come out to aws.amazon.com slash free, this is the free tier. And there's lots of services that you can get that are either free for the first 12 months, free up to a certain limit, or some are even free forever. For S3, you'll see right here, you get 5 gigs of standard storage free for the first 12 months, so if you have a new-ish account, then you should be good to go. But even if you're not in the free tier, S3 is still very inexpensive. If we go take a quick look at the pricing, and scrolling down, you'll see the pricing over here, just over 2 cents per gig per month. So a really cheap way to go if you just need a simple website. And just to expand on that a little bit with this caveat, this is just for hosting a static website, meaning no server-side code like PHP or JSP or ASP.NET. If you need that kind of a thing, then you should check out Amplify. But if you're just doing some simple HTML pages, maybe some images, that kind of thing, then S3 can be a good option. But enough talking, let me show you how to do this. Coming back to the console, I'll navigate to S3. And we'll start by creating a bucket. I'll call this my static website. And this does need to be globally unique, so I'll just put in TTT for tiny technical tutorials and a date. We'll go with the defaults for everything else and create the bucket. All right, now I'll view details. There's a couple of things we're going to need to update. First, under properties, if you scroll all the way down, the very end of the page here, we have static website hosting, currently disabled, so let's edit that and enable it. This will be to host a static website, and then the index document, we're going to go with index.html, it's giving you that hint here. We'll leave everything else blank and save changes. Now after you do that, you should get an endpoint all the way down here at the bottom to this static website, and I'll just open that up in a new tab. But you'll see that access is denied, and that's because by default, all public access is denied on a bucket. So let's go update that back here in the console. Under permissions, you'll see right here, block all public access. So let's update this and deselect that. Now there are risks with opening up your site to public access. You'll see that we get all kinds of warnings when we try to do this. We're not going to get into all those details, that's another point of this demo, but just know that in the real world, you want to make sure that you understand and mitigate the risks here. Okay, we'll confirm. And then we also need to go add a policy that allows the contents of the bucket to be publicly available. And we can do that right here, bucket policy. I'll edit. And then I have some code on my clipboard. I'll just paste that in. I'll also make this available in the description if you just want to copy and paste it. Make sure you don't have any extra lines at the end and no extra space at the beginning. Sometimes you can get an extra space up there. And then you will need to update the bucket name, which is going to be this one right here, my static website, or whatever you're using. Update that. So this is allowing get object on everything in the bucket, basically being able to view anything in the bucket. All right, scrolling down, save changes. Now the bucket is all set up to host a static website. Now let's go take a look at some HTML. I've created a super simple index.html page already. Let me open that up in Notepad++. I told you it was simple. So we have my first website, Hello World. I'm hosted on Amazon S3. And then we're going to pull in a picture of a cat. I have the cat picture right here. And that's all we need. So let's upload these to the S3 bucket. So back here, navigate to Objects, and then Upload. I'll just drag these two files over, and Upload. Now if we go back to that endpoint that we tried before, the access denied issue should be gone because we've basically opened this up to the world. <laughs> and so if we refresh, we should get our index.html page. So hello world, 
hosted in S3, and there's the cat. All right, super simple. Hopefully you do something a little bit more exciting than that, but you can see it's easy to do with HTML, with images. You could even add some client-side scripts if you want, but really good and inexpensive for a simple website. Now, once you're done with this, if you want to delete the bucket, let me just show you how to do that real quickly. So I'll back up to the full list of buckets here and then my static website up here, we'll say delete. Now this bucket is not empty. I've got that index.html and the cat picture in there. So first we need to empty bucket configuration. We'll confirm we want to permanently delete. And then once that's done, you can just use the link up here to delete bucket configuration. You'll also need to confirm here. So typing in the name of the bucket, delete bucket. And that's it, how to host a static website in S3. If you found this helpful, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button so it can spread to more people. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.